smooth, elegant, caramel, vanilla. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a, a rare bottle here on my cask. It's a Glen Grant, 18 years old and it came out on the market in 2016. It's 43% ABV, it's roughly 150 euros, dollars, pounds and well it shows uh, caramel. I'm sorry. Um, in 2016, Glen Grant issued three new whiskies, a 10-year-old, a 12-year-old and an 18-year-old. And I think the 10 and 12 years old, I had them here on my cask. Uh, so many, many whiskies here. So I do not remember really if I had both of them. One, at least, uh, I had. This is very, very rare and typically I wouldn't have opened it, uh, but the box is scratched here. And uh, so this bottle is mine and uh, it looks wonderful on the inside, but it's, oops, it's light. It's quite light, it's golden. Um, and this is uh, ex-bourbon cast maturation only. And therefore, uh, if there's color in it, it's not really much. So really to, to, equal out uh, the different uh, tens of the batches. This is the new bottle uh, with a wonderful golden uh, imprint on it and uh, two labels. And this is the million fold sold bottle. Uh, they took it also for the 18 years. <clears throat> uh, here you can see the, uh, the special purifiers at the distillery, at the stills, at the pot stills, from the line arm, uh, the uh, vapors enter, the hot vapors enter the purifiers, and uh, the hotter parts are leaving to the top, to the condensers, and the uh, liquefied part uh, goes down into the pot still again. It's a kind of reflux uh, intensification, and uh, the major uh, grant. He was uh, one of the first, if not the first, who well added those purifiers to his stills of the distillery. And the distillery was founded in 1840. <clears throat> and uh, I think the major came back from some war, India, Africa, who knows. Uh, the empire did a lot of that <laughs> in those years. Um, our rare 18 years old matures in the highest quality hand-picked oak cast. As long as a mouse is on my computer, every whiskey is hand-picked, uh, which deliver a vibrant golden color, yes, and rich floral and oaky aromas. Its complex palette offers delicate notes of vanilla, malty caramel and resins with a long, sweet and spicy finish. Exactly what the doctor orders. No, not the doctor, sorry. Alcohol is never good to your health. Um, uh, but this is vanilla from the ex-bourbon cask, uh, malty, well, it's a malt whiskey and caramel from the burning of the cask from the inside, uh, resins, well, this comes from, from longer maturations, gives this resin taste and a long, sweet and spicy finish, spicy finish typically from the oak cask. The Major was one of the first distillers in Scotland to introduce purifiers into the distillation process. The purifiers further refine our whiskey by ensuring only the very finest vapors condense into spirit. This results in an elegant and delicate style of whiskey for which Glen Grant is renowned. Um, I personally have never seen uh, purifiers at any other distillery. No, not really. I've seen intercoolers where you uh, tear out the, uh, the heat of the uh, vapors. If it's sure that they go over the line arm, the line arm is, is bent down and then they take out the heat uh, and reuse it for further heating of, of the wash. Yeah. <coughs> so here we are. And here is the whiskey. Ah, 
Aha, fruity. Immediately. Very good. So this is a not typical old whiskey because in nowadays people go over and uh, finish those whiskies or have them matured and reused and fresh sherry casks for giving in depth and, and sherry aroma. And this is en vogue. And this one is an ex bourbon cask maturation. And this is quite rare and, and shows whiskey in a very elegant, fine way. Already floral and vanilla showing in the air. Yeah. It's a full intense, it's only 43% ABV and gives a full and intense aroma. 18 years, 18 years. And it's smooth, elegant, caramel, vanilla, maltiness. And in the end, there is some, well, a little spiciness showing through. There is something, yeah, have a look. Mm. Mm. Oh, in the beginning, showing fruitiness and the sweetness coming through everything, and then rrr, spiciness going over my tongue. The the resins showing through, and then massive, intense nuttiness. And then going over into more sweetness, the spiciness less and less, but there is a very faint bitterness keeping. Uh, so American white oak also shows bitterness if it's matured in for a long, long time, like those 18 years. Yeah. Whoo! <laughs> a lot of spiciness in it. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, I always wondered why the Glen Grand uh, have so few matured old whiskies. They had been a 16 year old on the market for quite a time, uh, quite expensive, and a 25 year, years old, which was incredible expensive. And uh, the distillery changed operators a decade ago, probably around that time. And uh, now Grupo Campari, a French, uh, an Italian one, uh, owns the distillery and hopefully they put more cask aside. Yeah, hopefully. The distillery is huge, really huge, a lot of whiskey coming through and uh, Glen Grant, the major's reserve, um, is available nearly in every supermarket over continental Europe. So the, the, th the spreading of the name is broad and uh, it's very often seen in, in Italy and in Southern Europe as well. So there is a market for older ones. Um, and if quality stays on that level for the older ones, then Campari will be able uh, to do really good sales. Um, but if there are only just a few bottles available and uh, as soon as I show it here in a cast, all the bottles are gone from the shelves, uh, then they are really too few. So they should expand uh, their storage. Uh, they have 10 and 12 years already, which is a big, big step forward uh, compared to former times. And now they have to move forward, uh, adding age and uh, bringing out an 18 years old and a 21 and 25 years old on a constant basis. The money is there, the production they have. So go ahead, do it, just do it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come and feel free to add your comments about this whiskey in our forum and our whiskey database on